we're back at the beaver pond. Got some clouds rolling in. I think winter is about to uh, swoop back down on me <laughs> for a few days. I'm supposed to get about a half a foot of snow uh, tomorrow. But I'm anxious to see how we did. Hopefully we caught something. I'm uh, eating through my supply of meat pretty quick as per usual. <laughs> you can only uh, spread it so thin with beans and bannock and rice and stuff like that so you know catching something today would mean a lot more than just you know setting a good uh, a good trap and stuff like that it's actually kind of vital, so I'll be very happy. Coming up to our first set now. Let's see. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh. I can't even tell you how good this feels. You know, when you're depending on food and uh, you know I kind of subjected myself to a life where you know if I don't get my own meat I go hungry or you know I have to eat just flour and, and beans and rice and stuff like that so that's food that's life so we'll pull this out and uh, get a look at it one probably somewhere in the, the 35 pound range oh yeah yeah that's a good 35 pounds anyhow oh very thankful these are going to be eating fresh meat tonight all right let's move on and uh, check our other sets coming up to the next set uh, not so successful here as you can see we didn't do so well <laughs> that's okay you know it's uh, it's never a guarantee that's why I brought three traps even though I was only looking to get one or two because you don't know if you're going to be successful. And it's a good thing I brought three because looking at the uh, the other set here, <laughs> we got skunked there too. And I thought this would be the best one. And that's the first one we set. The beaver house is right over there. No guarantee. Never a guarantee. So, good, we've got one beaver on the bright side, you know, hauling two beavers back to my, uh, <laughs> my cabin would uh, really be pushing it for my legs, so uh, maybe it's for the best. <laughs> Grab with confidence, but not too much confidence. These are trap setters. Make the job a little bit easier closing these springs so I can get the animal out. 
A lot of people don't realize how big a beaver actually is. You know, when I tell people that I, I'm a trapper, I trap beaver. <laughs> they think a beaver is like a, a 15 pound animal. But the reality is, uh, the average size that I catch on my line is about 40 pounds. But I've caught them right up to 60 pounds. You know, they're a pretty substantial amount of meat. And when you gotta haul three, four, five beaver out of a swamp, uh, <laughs> it adds up. Really nice. This one's still got some fat in its tail. Their tails are where they store uh, fat for the winter. And oftentimes, um, you know, this time of year, they're, they look like uh, a skeleton. And they're just flat, flat. There's hardly anything left in them. But, uh, you know, this one, Appears to have fared quite well through the winter. Still has some nice body fat on it. Cool, that's good to see. All right, well, I guess it's time to uh, pack this thing back to camp. I've got about three, four kilometers. Not sure exactly uh, of cross country uh, hiking to do, so. This area here is an old pond. You can see the house behind me there. This is just upstream from the one that I set the traps. And, uh, you know, beaver move around quite a bit, depending on a few factors. Uh, predators being one of them, if they're harassed in an area enough, they'll uh, pack up and move on. Or as uh, in the case of this pond, you can see it's mostly surrounded by spruce, which is not, uh, it's not ideal feed for a beaver. Uh, they're not really into that. So what they've probably done is eat out most of the poplar and downstream they found a better stand of uh, food. So, they moved on. But they leave behind when they do that, these beautiful meadows that attract a lot of game. And uh, well, they're just beautiful places to see, really. So, anyway, I thought I'd share that. give the uh, the feet and tail to Nanook so when he sees a beaver he knows he's getting a snack <laughs> come on so I processed the beaver now this is the the pelt really nice beautiful pelt it's a good sized animal make good use of that fur 
and then got all the, the parts here. Uh, the only thing left outside is the, the skeleton and the, the stomach contents, intestines. Um, here we got one of the hind legs, uh, front leg, um, some belly meat. Got a, this is the butt right here, full of good fat. You can see all that nice white fat. So that's going to be really nice to uh, roast up. I may have this for, for breakfast. These are the lungs right here. And they're full of uh, phlegm and uh, stomach fluids from when the animal dies. Um, so this needs to be boiled before I, uh, I eat it. It forces all that stuff out. Um, this is one of the kidneys. Again, the this is one of my favorite parts of, of getting one of these getting any animal, um, especially of decent size, is that first feast. Uh, tonight I am gorging myself on uh, organs uh, like this liver, uh, the kidneys, the lungs, the heart. Um, I eat all of it, so nothing, nothing goes to waste. I mean even the, the feet and the tail uh, go to the dog. Anyways, I'm gonna fire up the pot and uh, let the feast begin. Well, hopefully I don't seem like uh, too much of a caveman, but it's a real feast of carnivores tonight. We've got the Kidneys there, liver, lungs are boiling in the pot, and all of that is going to join this nice slab of belly meat that we're browning up here in the frying pan. Hands down, beaver meat, best wild game, at least to me. Mm. I'm going to finish my meal here before it gets cold and uh, hit the sack. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.